If you happen to own a Nintendo Switch, this probably sounds all too familiar. You discover a popular multi-platform game is getting a Switch port, meaning you'll finally get to experience it for yourself on Nintendo's innovative hybrid console. You can play it on your TV, you can play it on the road, you can even play it in the sky. Visions of gaming without barriers dance in your head. And then you see the price tag. How can it be that a game Xbox One and PlayStation 4 owners have been playing for years is more expensive on the Nintendo Switch? And how is that true even for a digital version of the game on the Nintendo eShop? The answer lies within Nintendo's choice to use a proprietary cartridge format and also within a related Nintendo eShop policy. Compared to discs, Nintendo Switch cartridges are not easy to produce in mass quantities. On one hand, a Switch cartridge is flash storage, not unlike an SD card, while discs pretty much take on the same form, whether they're CDs, DVDs, or Blu-rays. The Nintendo Switch cartridge format is a unique beast. If a Switch cartridge looked like an SD card, Nintendo could take advantage of the countless manufacturing facilities pumping those cards out. But alas, it does not. So Nintendo must work with partners to create this very special type of flash storage card, making the process much more expensive. This is a never-ending battle of choosing a proprietary storage format, and it's why you sometimes see new Switch games that cost more than their Xbox One and PlayStation 4 counterparts. The cost of a Switch cartridge becomes an even bigger factor when you consider the size of different games. According to Eurogamer, Nintendo Switch cartridges come in 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 GB flavors. The smaller capacity cartridges don't cost as much as the larger ones, which works out for tinier games. Then again, those games are often indie titles that opt for an eShop-only release, negating the cartridge entirely. So what's the deal with the eShop then? Why do Switch games with physical and digital versions cost the same at GameStop as they do on the eShop? You can thank Nintendo for that and the company's desire to keep game stores and big box retailers competitive. The same Eurogamer piece mentions a policy that Nintendo has for any games that release on both a Nintendo Switch cartridge and in the eShop. And that policy is this. The eShop version of the game can't be cheaper. Nintendo relies on the GameStops, the Amazons, and the best buyers of the world to promote Nintendo Switch hardware, accessories, and games. Physical copies of a game take up valuable shelf space at retailers, and the fact of the matter is that stores would be less inclined to afford Nintendo that space if players could simply jump on the eShop and get the same game at a better price. As gaming goes more and more digital, this might not be a reality that a company like Nintendo has to face in the future. But for now, Nintendo has to keep its retail partners happy, which means you don't save any money by cutting out the cartridge middleman. We're nearly two years into the Nintendo Switch's life, and unfortunately, it doesn't appear that the Switch tax is going away anytime soon. There's no word that Nintendo has been able to drive down the cost of manufacturing Nintendo Switch cartridges, which would, in turn, allow Switch games to be priced more competitively. Meanwhile, games are only getting bigger. Nintendo has plans to introduce a 64-gig Nintendo Switch cartridge sometime in 2019 paving the way for bigger titles to show up on the platform. Of course, that would undoubtedly make those games even more expensive, whether you buy a physical copy or download one. The Nintendo Switch is a delightful little machine, with more than enough Nintendo exclusives to justify a purchase at this point. But a bunch of these multi-platform games are still cheaper, and in most cases, better looking on other platforms. And it doesn't look like that fact is going to change anytime soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.